Hi, my name is Mohammed Rufudhi, and I'm a PhD engineer from the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, my capsule project is about tumor identification using convolutional neural networks. Um, for the quick introduction, the histopathology is a gold standard for cancer diagnosis, but it has some limitations, like uh, chemical stains are not uh, quantity, uh, it's susceptible to human error, and also it's fun consuming. The other approach is using FDRI images, but that uh, adsorption uh, spectrum for each component provides a fingerprint for that component. So the goal of this project is to identify histological components of a biopsy based on nuclear uh, spectra. In simpler language, I'm trying uh, to identify the part of the picture that can be used by his uh, pathologies to identify the cancer. Here is the workflow for the project. Uh, the input is FDRI images, and each image has 16 channels. Uh, the engine is deep learning AMI machine running on GPU instance on EC2. And I used uh, the standard Python toolkits uh, for this project. The output is image segmentation, and each pixel represents a cellular component. And I have uh, six major cellular components to classify. Uh, I used a convolutional neural, neural network for the, this project, uh, which is a pretty complex algorithm, and it's very effective for image recognition, image, uh, image um, classification, and uh, it has two parts, the convolutional parts. The image first goes through the convolutional part uh, to learn feature, to detect edge, edges and the shape, and then it goes to the fully connected layer for the classification. In this slide, uh, I compared the chemical the same result with the CNN classification result that I call uh, digital staining. Uh, the top two pictures are from the chemical staining and the bottom uh, images are from digital staining. As we can see in the uh, left image, uh, there is a big area on the green, uh, which is epithelium, uh, which is also uh, identified by the uh, chemical staining, or in the right image, we have the big area on the necrosis that both chemical staining and CNN classification agree on that. After the digital staining, the morphological details in digital staining enables pathologists to determine the presence of cancer. By examination by the expert, it can be determined uh, if the tumor is cancerous tumor or it's non-cancerous tumor. In this slide, I show some model statistics. The total test accuracy is about 93%. And here is normalized confusion matrix with the true label in y-axis and uh, predicted label in x-axis. And the values on the diagonal shows two positive rates. And this uh, plot shows the ROC curve for all the cl classes. The area under the curve for the classes are between 0.97 uh, to 0.99. At the end, I would like to thank you, Dr. David Mirich and Dr. Sebastian Brickshaw from the University of Houston for providing the data for this project. Here is also my contact information, my email address, my LinkedIn, and my uh, GitHub profile. If you are interested in this project, you can find more details in Capstone project folder in my GitHub. Thank you.